describe what I'm going through. Um, a constant hell, I think, uh, would be the best way to put it. I think for the people that always say the wrong thing, there's not, there's not a right thing to say. You know, in a patient's room and they say, and the doctor tells them like, hey, you are diagnosed with cancer, and you just kind of see the faces drop and you see um, the family members. Sometimes they just like instantly break down there and as their nurse, you have to be like strong for them. It's changing, you know, their whole life. Here's a kid that, oh, I'm, I'm going to college, or I, you know, those are the things that a kid is supposed to be thinking of at that age, not, am I gonna live through the year? The biggest misconception is they, they, everyone feels like they have some sort of idea because everyone's been touched by cancer in some way. You know a distant relative, you know a friend in school, or anything like that. So you, everyone thinks they know what other people are going through. You know, you, we just as humans assume we're going to live forever. And when you're diagnosed with something that potentially can end your life, you, I can't imagine the emotion you go through. That's life changing. First, the night I got diagnosed was obviously the lowest, one of the lowest points, but I think aside from that, I had, uh, after my first surgery, they had to take me off my medication, which replaces my thyroid, so it helps me with my hormone levels and my mood and hot flashes and stuff like that. Um, and when they took me off that, I went into a really, really deep depression. And uh, again, I thought I knew what depression was, but I didn't have a freaking my mom had cancer before I was diagnosed, um, so I think it was one of those situations that I thought I knew more about it than, than I was expecting to know. I don't know how else to say that. Um, I thought I knew what she was going through because I was there, like, watching her do it, but once again, it wasn't. Once I got diagnosed, the whole world changed. You know, saying, sitting in my room, not, not crying or anything like that or feeling sad, I just didn't feel. very similar to my patients. I would first be in shock of, oh my gosh, is this really happening to me? People are really careful what they say. They don't, <laughs> they always don't want to say the wrong thing, which results in them saying the completely wrong thing, which I always think is quite hysterical what people are willing to say, purely because they don't know what to say. Um, I think uh, my favorite is when people kind of hesitate and they say, well, how's everything else going? I know what they're asking. I know that they're asking how my cancer's going. I just think it's comical. <laughs> so, um, who were some really inspirational and motivational people in your life when you were going through? Um... Definitely my mom and my dad. Because um, mom had it, so she had an idea of how to, not how to get me through it, but what steps to take in order to help myself get through it. Everyone feels like they have some sort of idea because everyone's been touched by cancer in some way. You know a distant relative, you know a friend at school, or anything like that. So you, everyone thinks they know what other people are going through. But even seeing someone walk by me in the grocery store who has cancer, you know, they're bald or they have a scar somewhere. Um, things that give it away. I might talk to them, but it doesn't. I'm never gonna pursue it as, hey, I know what you're going through. You want to be friends. It's never. You never know what anyone's going through, no matter what the situation is. You're not alone. There's people like me out there, there's there's cancer support groups, there's family, you have friends. You have someone out there that can help you out or that can at least have an idea of what you're going through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not alone.